What's up, yo? We are at Seek 2019. I'm here with Morgan from? Christ in the City. Christ in the City. Hello. Denver, wait, I don't have the mic. Denver, Colorado. <laughs> Denver, Colorado. Morgan, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Um, I just wanted to ask you a couple of quick questions. Um, when I say the word chastity, what is the first thought or word that comes to your head? When I hear the word chastity, I think of freedom. I think of what chastity has brought into my life, and it is complete freedom. Freedom from uh, hard sins uh, that have kept me from truly knowing how loved I am. And yeah, I think with chastity in my life, I've never felt more free to be completely myself and to know my identity as a daughter. And yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Um, what do you think is like the most fundamental misunderstanding that us young people have of chastity today? So I think the misunderstanding is that chastity is for religious sisters, at least that's what I thought when I was uh, entering the church. I heard the word chastity and I was like, oh, that just means like you're going to become a nun, right? <laughs> but I realized that that meant that I could have control of my own life and that that control, again, would just bring me complete freedom in my life. And it's so capable, like it's so capable of living out and it's hard. It's very hard, but with help, I mean, with friends, with good friends, you can do it, and it's worth it. <laughs> yeah. You hear that, people? It's worth it, and it's possible. Yeah. Take it from Morgan, straight up. All right, last question. Um, what role does chastity have to play in the world today in 2019? So especially with our mission at Christ in the City, we work with the homeless on the streets in Denver and something I see even today in 2019 that our homeless friends who are a lot older than me, usually they don't know what chastity is and I think because of that we've seen it play out in what, you know, premarital sex, um, birth control, things like that have done. I'm not saying it causes homelessness at all, but I see such a brokenness um, on the streets and it's still just, yeah, it's, it's so alive right now, um, what living an unchaste life can do. And so I think for 2019, Chastity is ready to make a comeback and it still needs it. The world needs it. Um, you need it. Um, your family, I mean, especially in the family, understanding chastity can really change the culture. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. We all need chastity. Thank you again, Morgan. I appreciate it. That's all we got. Thank you. Yeah. You